Now after we have derivatized the plate, as you can see here that step is now checked. We're going to go to the last step which is to acquire images after derivatization. So again we're just going to click on continue. And as before the visualizer will begin to acquire the images. And each, after each light source uh, in the image will show us a preview on screen. The first image as before is going to be the white reflected and transmitted lights uh, together. And as you can see now we we can see a lot more after the derivatization step. So that's the uh, purpose of derivatization is to allow you to visualize fractions on the plate that you would not normally be able to see. But it's also critical to get that previous image acquisition because you may have some information on the plate that is shown prior to derivatization. And once you derivatize that plate, you can no longer, of course, get that information, but you get new information. So it's a nice feature to be able to acquire multiple sets of images. Right now we're doing the 366 image. And there we are, and as you can see, it looks quite different than before. So we are happy with these. We just say accept all. And now we are finished. And so at this point, we can move on to the next step, which would be to look at the data and evaluate the images.